Hey nerds, welcome to Jared Barry X. Today we're going to react to Season 4, Episode 9, a.k.a. the Season 4 finale to Stranger Things. That's right, to Stranger Things, entitled The Piggyback. The Piggyback. It's here, it's time, this is it, this is the effing finale. 33 episodes done, one left, this is number 34, and then we're caught up with the rest of the world with an estimated release date for Season 5 being late 2023, which if you don't know, is, uh, is going to be sometime the next year, because right now it's 2022. So, listen, if you guys just came here for Stranger Things on this channel, you found me because of Stranger Things, you went to Patreon because of Stranger Things, no matter what it is, if you're just here to watch this, I will see you next year for that grand finale, that last probably eight or so episodes, since they go eight, nine, eight, nine, uh, for Stranger Things. If you're here for everything, you know I love you just as much. I'm ready to get into this. Last episode... Another kind of heavy exposition episode. The gang is split. The Sinclairs and Maxine, young Maximilian, is at the Creel house to try to get Vecna's attention. The rest of the gangs are all spread spread, spread out. They're all spread out. Hopper uh, and them are hopefully going to make their way back to the U.S. I imagine, here's what I'm going to think before it even goes into it, is like they're going to do all this stuff and then like Hopper and Joyce and Murray are going to get back and be like, uh, hey, I'm back from my trip to uh, Alaska. How was you guys? I'm like, oh, it's fine. We just killed an interdimensional demon man. Uh, he was a number like 11. Just removed the one in front of her number, and that's who he was. I do think we are we are going to have the uh, inevitable showdown here of Vecna versus Eleven. Makes the most sense. Hopefully the gang does get to come together in a fucking two-hour and 20-minute episode. It'll probably be heavily cut up for YouTube, but um, I hope they do come together. Hopefully it's not something where like 11 gets there and for some reason these peeps already took care of it, whatever it is. Regardless, I'm done rambling. If you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. There will be links in the description box for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. All 33 episodes, now 34 watching this, will be available for you over on Patreon. Jerry will do his best work behind the scenes. Got to fix that crown, buddy. And on that note, let's, let's, let's do it. You ready? Two hours and 22 minutes and 19 seconds. Strap in, boys. And they got to get this whole ass helicopter. They got to fly a helicopter uh, over the seas. Get your hands off me, potato head. You're trying to break her, aren't you? Mr. Potato Head. He does look like Mr. Potato Head. Cute. Hulk Hogan, baby. Bro, I've been sitting here waiting, and I've been thinking about this for days uh, for a wrestling reference at some point, especially with them being in the late 80s, ready to get into the 90s. A lot of those kids should probably be watching wrestling. They made references to everything else. If we want to use Hulk Hogan of all fucking people, that's fine. But at least it's a reference, you know? I'm, I'm cool with it. There's nobody else you could pick in that moment. but So I get it, but still. Am I going to have to see Hopper and Joyce both in fucking Hulkamania shirts? I don't know how that makes me feel. Excited, but they didn't know how they didn't know who Hulk Hogan was back. They didn't know he was how he is. It's fine. I'll allow it. Hey, bro, quit looking back. The fucking parallel of uh, Steve and Nancy. They should probably cut over to them. Hey, we did it. Wow, wow, the slow. She re you see the way she... Cr wow. You took your pants off seductively. Oh, my God, Hopper. Hey, keep that on. I know it's Netflix, but shit. Bro, Hopper is fucking scarred. She gonna see his back. What did they do to you? They tickled me. Oh, my God. Bro, look at, one, his weight loss. His weight loss. That's crazy. Because my brother was thick. This is... Is this also around the time he probably had to get... Well, no. Because... The Alexi character he plays as Red Guardian is also kind of thick. My brother lost weight, bro. That's impressive. I know I'm pausing a whole bunch. But I still have... I just have to show you guys. Think about that. They even have the WWF logo on it. That says a lot. Because they can't even post that logo anywhere without that shit being censored. So that is nice. You've been dreaming about breadsticks and lasagna. I've been on a diet of watery soup, moldy bread, and maggots. So yeah, I've been dreaming about breadsticks <laughs> and lasagna. So, <laughs> she was, I've been dreaming about something else. The, hey, she set you, you up, bro. Me. She set you up for it, brother. And you're going to sit there and just... Well... 
There's a wine. Oh, right. Hey, wine goes straight to the. Right. Go straight to the ovaries. Go ahead and go in for it. There we go, baby. The hopper enjoys the smoochy smooch in a church. Of course, the fucking phone would ring. Mm. Cock block, all of them. I'm sick to my stomach right now. Does Vecna not feel that there's people going inside of his hole? Does he not feel people are coming to the upside down? I guess it's not his hole, but still. Okay, Steve, front flip, land on your feet then, brother. Ooh, what does he want us to do, applaud? If they don't do it in this in this, in this finale over the next two hours, I know what they should do in season five, how they should wrap up the season five finale, at least part of it for the action side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it planned out. We'll talk about it all the way at the end, if I remember. See, it's building. It's building. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, yeah. Cue the intro. Strange things created by the Duffy Brothers. Chapter 9 The Piggyback. Hey, if 11 fucking. I do that. I love this. This reminds me of Pizza Planet at the gas station with the pizza right there and the Toy Story. I don't know, man. It's just really good. If 11 takes off and starts flying like fucking Magneto or something, bro, I'm out. I can piggyback. Can protect her from one roll credits from Ooh, back to disney's haunted mansion i don't know why i'm i'm waiting for eddie murphy to pop up at any time i think i think that was a little buddy out in the uh oh my god god damn it i forgot about jason's dumb ass god i hope he does uh I, f I forgot about what you call it but the people they, they were out on the boat they were out in the boat when they said uh, they didn't know Reefer Rick was back. Okay, you know what? Something I just thought about this whole season. I haven't thought about it until just this moment. Do you remember when Hopper was dealing with Alexi? How he called him Smirnoff the whole time, and then right when Alexi was I mean, basically dead, he he asked like, "Where's Alexi?" And that conversation happened. We had already had the scene with um, Enzo. I know it's not his real name. Uh, on, on, I don't know how to say it. We already had the scene with him saying we're not friends to somebody else. And, they, I mean, they got a little bit of friendship brewing. But he keeps calling him American. Is this your daughter American? Blah, blah, blah. Do you think we'll get out of here American? Yada, yada. I think at some point towards the latter half of this episode, we'll get either one of two things. He'll either call him Jim or he'll call him Hopper. One of the two, either or. I'm ready is we know it's connected to the hive mind right now we know part of that hive mind is in russia yeah we don't need to get back to hawkins to fight. gotta go back to the All prison to just narrowly escape barely broke out we can break in we can break back in hell yeah baby jim the entire soviet army is looking for us sure be exactly where they least expect All right. there is a fine line he just took my fucking ak uh think about this for one split second will you this is good. This goes against everything that they've done for the first three seasons. We're not getting a team up. We're going to work together from different locations. We're going to piggyback off each other. How fucking cool is that, man? That has me actually genuinely hyped for the rest of the two hours. And this falls very far on the side of stupid. Oh, yeah. This will do. I don't do, pig. I don't do. Just fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I paid 20 bucks at Disney Plus. Exhausting is what Disney Plus is. Is exhausting. Superboy Pizza. He did say they were expanding. I think that's the most Jonathan said in about eight episodes. This man just gave over his whole fucking store for a singular joint. He's down bad, dude. Like purple palm tree to light up a Taco Bell, bro. Like. <laughs> No. That wasn't the laugh I was trying to do, but it didn't come out. Oh my god. First ever 
for mind fight held in a pizza dough freezer. Pretty rad, right? I don't know why I thought that motherfucker's about to say it was a salt ball. Do the neighbors not hear them running a drill? Also, this is what I was waiting for to cut back to. They're doing all this hard work, and this man's flipping a pizza. Can't can't fight on an empty stomach. I ain't mad at him for it. Hell yeah, baby, throw that pizza in there. Yeah, buddy. Got some pineapples on that bitch. Woo. Oh, I said getting the neighbors of them running the drill. I forgot they're the upside down. <laughs> you imagine? Oh. Uh, she was destined for an alternate dimension. This is his guitar. Because he had his guitar hanging up on the thing. Fuck He's yeah, brother. Are you ready for the most metal concert in the history of the world? I was just about to rhetorical question? It is rhetorical. I was just about to say too. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Don't they have to play music, right? Because that's the whole key thing is music. And he's he teased that guitar in like the first or second episode. I don't mean to freak That's a good callback right there. Is um is thank you. Thank me. Thank you yeah. for being a friend. For forgiving me at the biggest dump of its life two years ago. Yeah, you needed that shit, bro, because you were a fucking it. McAsshole. I was ready to throw hands with you in the first episode, and I already know for a fact I would have whipped your ass. And now I'm crawling forward. Slowly. Very slowly, but you're progressing. I wonder sometimes. You know, if some other girl would give me a proper thump before we met, would things have been different? She'd give you a proper like, thump. Like if we were meeting together the first time right now, part of me, I don't know, part of me thinks that we would have made it. How come every time we're going the wrong way after all? How come, how come every time some good shit's about to happen, somebody interrupts a phone call now Robin, Red Robin, the red phone and Robin interrupting both of them. Red Robin is a cock block, is all I'm getting at from both of these. I don't know, man. I, I like I wouldn't mind seeing Steve and, and Nance get back together. Uh, but like you had such a build up to get to Steve and Jonathan. Just to like if we're gonna I don't know if it's gonna happen or not, but just to reverse it. It's a Steve. Did I just say Steve and Jonathan? You had such a build up to Nancy and that's what the build towards Steve and Jonathan. I'm all for it. Uh, and then Robin and Nancy. Look at that, bro. Teamwork makes the dream work. So they've had such a build up to Jonathan and Nancy. All for them to get separated. You know, it's a little bit more trauma, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Feels forced almost. And just like that, the music is off, and we're in the blue room. Hey, asshole! Hey, you fucking slap nuts! It's me, Max. I'm here. Show me, show me my dead brother again. No more music. No more games. You and me, one v one, COD four on the Nintendo DS. Let's get it. Do you hear me? And it's totally dark, which means it works. This goofball just yeah, made some fucking pizza glasses. Question. Do I look cool? I feel like I'm a, I look really cool. Thank like you. you. Giggling? <laughs> you look a little cool. You're giggling because I look. You awesome. little dipshit. I can't see it, but I know you're smiling because I just I know I look so good, right? Hey, Mike, you have ample opportunities right now to say I love you. You know, oh, I guess I just I wanted to, to say that. Sir, I knew I knew it was gonna get interrupted. Oh, uh. Every relationship so far has been interrupted. Mike, just fucking say it. So much flavor. Club. Good. It's good. Good. It's, good. it's fire. Club. What? That's Give it a insane. shot. That's blasphemous. Putting fruit Jeez, on right? pizza? No, I didn't try it. Try Take a bite. Not. Take a bite. Not. Take a bite. Put him in a sleeper. To pull him out. Bull. No, no, no. I swear on my life. I really like when people talk to Will. He has just like this smile or like curiosity, like this curious look to him the whole time. It's just super fucking wholesome. A haircut, man. No, it's just want you to forget that I'm here. And I'll always be here. Always, man. No matter what. Because you're my brother. I and got you, me. brother. Oh, I love you too, man. In this world. Oh, when people say I love you to each other. Oh. Absolutely nothing that will ever change that. Nothing. Hug it out, bro. Give me that brotherly hug. Come here. Give me that brotherly hug. Oh, we'll just be going through it inside his own fucking brain. He ain't got nobody to talk to, bro. Talk to your brother, man. Oh. 
Love you, kids. It's gonna be okay. Did Mike try the pineapple pizza or nah? We don't need that. We don't need her taking off her socks to show her feet. That's unnecessary. Again, that's some Nickelodeon shit. At some point, I get it when people are walking on the snow and they're like, look, they're barefoot. They can get frostbite and it leads into things. I understand that. But there's so many creepy fucking shots of people's feet. Especially hers. It's fucking gross. I know Drake watching this shit too. Probably just eyeballing everything. We didn't have no pizza clothes to put her in. That was like, those are warm clothes. Ain't no shot y'all don't have no extra pizza t-shirts. He made my life living hell. Yes. I mean, everybody around him living hell except for, except for the cougars. I knew that he drove too fast, so I would imagine him crashing. What'd I say when I first saw him? That motherfucker. Yep. Yep. Told you he died in a car crash. He'd be moving too quickly. Now when I lie in bed at night, I pray that something will happen to me. Damn. That something terrible will happen to me. No, Max, Abe, we want you to hang out. I normally hate when they cut away from Sounds characters in moments, but like a shot of Lucas there for one second after she said that, like a small reaction or concern or a tear or something. I just want you to take me away. Would have been a really nice touch. Oh. Have you ever have thoughts like that about me? That's not. That's not Lucas. No, Lucas, never. No more people don't fantasize about killing other people, Max. You realize that, right? That's 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 not Lucas. I thought you were getting better. I will sacrifice. Yeah, 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 yeah. That breaks the world. He has her. Oh, I got cold chills, bro. So that's a really good reason. I actually, I think if you would have cut to Lucas, like kind of still being sad in that moment, but she might not even been talking at that point. But then cut back and then have Max go into that trance and then have it. It may add a little bit more to it. But either way, that was fucking. That's good shit, bro. Thanks. Ready to disappear. I said stay away. Damn. Oh, that's right, you my big ass fucking pimple brain ass bitch. Round. Look at what you see. That's why. Bro, I forgot about the Halloween Michael Myers thing. You guys haven't seen the episodes that went up, so if anybody's fucking roasting me in that comment section, we'll kick rocks, all right? I forgot about her Halloween scene hopping out with the fucking Michael Myers mask at them. Hey, where's, where the fuck is Mr. Scott Clark, by the way? That's my guy. Oh, we got an amp turned up. And the rock gets ripped. Ooh. Dude, Master of Puppets is such a good fucking song for this. I literally have cold chills on my arm right now. What if that just so happened to be Vecna slash Henry slash One's favorite song? Wouldn't that be wild? My fucking nipples are hard. Obey your master, master, master of Oh, fuck, I'm too early. Fuck you, Billy. Ooh, shred that Bro, I'm not fucking... Ah, I got cold chill on my arms. Every time I hear a, a solo rift, the really, only thing I can think of is the Power Rangers theme song. <laughs> That's what he should have played. I don't think Power Rangers came out for like another like four or five years or so in America, but still. I called that shit with her happy memory being at the snowball, by the way, because they were together and she just went in for that smooch real quick. Shit caught me so off guard. I was so happy for her. And Lucas. Man, I was too early, and I'm kind of pissed they cut off my, my thing, man. Master of Puppets, I'm pulling a string. Ugh. Move that shit, bro. My man was out there fucking rocking, son. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Ah. But do you guys remember what I said? Do you remember what I said? about what Eddie should have done in the water with Jason. He should have said, so he's like, I'll put a spell on you, blah, blah, blah. And then Patrick gets giffle gaffled. Now he's walking in knowing the Sinclairs play Dungeons and Dragons and they know Max doesn't play. Now he's walking up here with these two 
with Max fucking just like the Undertaker and shit. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this, man. Yeah, I hope you're right. Nothing like a sweaty white kid with a gun, bro. Put that shit down. No. No. Turn around. What? Turn around! Okay, okay, okay. Relax, relax. And put down your flashlight. Hey, you know Jason will grow up to be a cop, fucking bitch-ass pussy boy. And empty your pockets. Empty your pockets! What are you trying to run my pockets for? That gun look fake as fuck, by the way. She's thinking back to Bob. Yeah, knew that shit immediately. Thinking right back to Bob and Thick Hopper. His name's Hopper. Remember that time IHOP changed their name to IHOP International House of Fucking not. Burgers? Goddamn idiots. Two funerals for the same person? That suck, bro. Nobody's gonna show up to that second one. Let me go ahead and tell you. Lock him up. Robin! And then grab your ankle, put you against the wall, then strap your fucking hands. Ow! I don't know why I thought that was the axe. I'm like, bro, do not be swinging that towards her. This is not how Robin wants to be treated this way with these ropes and bondages, bro. That's supposed to be safe for Vicky. And even in that case, I'm sure the roles will be reversed, but it's still beside the point. There's the axe. Watch your fucking fingers. Oh. There goes Steve getting fucking choked again. That's awkward. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Look, what I say. Why would you cut that rope? What about for everybody else? They got to make a new rope now. What I tell you? What I tell you? The whole time throughout the whole course of the show, he's like, dude, I like, I just turn tail and run, man. Like, you know, there's, a, there's always running is always an option, blah blah blah. But now to stay and fight. Yep. On his bicycle, bicycle. And you know this motherfucker is like a 25th year senior, so like, I mean, you know, what's he got to lose? There it is. There's the first chime. It's time to duel in Yu-Gi-Oh, Max. My grandfather deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba. Jesus, fuck. That motherfucker built like a whole enema. We call him Fekna. He lives in another dimension. Then why was Chrissy at Eddie's trailer? She was buying drugs. Fire! Did he cock the gun again after it was already cocked? She was seeing things. Poor Max is sitting there like fucking Cleo, the mind reader. Things Fekna forced her to see. She was scared. She just needed help. See, that's how I know you're lying. If Chrissy was scared, if if Chrissy wanted help, she would have come to me. Oh, yeah, your little not that freak, not knight in shining armor. Damn, bro, he actually shot. And... Oh, right in the fucking ball, slap nuts. Crit hit, bitch, nat twenty. Just broke her fucking music, bro. I hope Jason just. I hope he grows old. I hope he gets a nice little family. And I hope as. As time goes on, that he loves his family and he has kids. And he has to watch his family get sick and die. And he has to hold them each as they all pass away. And he dies cold and alone in a house with all of his pet slugs. You are weak and fragile. Fragile. Like him. Like all the rest of them. Oh, damn, who done lifted you up 10 feet and got you in the air all weak and defenseless and shit? I don't know what was happening for a second. I got cold chills. Look who walking out with our motherfucking toes out, bro. Hashtag Nickelodeon. Hashtag stop doing that weird, gross, weird, fucking creepy shit. Look at that, baby. I'm walking on my left nostril bleeding, holding you up in the goddamn air like I'm somebody. Because I am some. I'm 11. I'm 10, I'm 10 numbers higher than you, bro. Oh, now she's going to turn. Now she's going to turn him around just as he turned her around in their little conflict. Hi. 
Hi. Bitch ass, ho ass, fuck ass, little boy. Yuck. Dustin, if you get up there, bro, you have to go get that a guitar. I don't know how to play it, but they got a microphone or something. Turn around. Look at what you see. Oh, my God. Eddie. Ah. Oh. That motherfucker broke a shoulder blade. He's tired of running. They ran away. I just ran and I left her there. She she did I make you? <laughs> Poor her cheek. I'm real. How? I am bitch, I got superpowers. Pizza dough freezer. <laughs> what? This is it, bro. This is a big showdown right here. Slash one. Or yeah, Jane slash eleven. Jane slash L slash eleven. Henry slash Vecna slash Henry slash one. Fuck it, I forgot it. You touch her. That's how you do it. It's, it's L slash Jane slash 11 versus Vecna slash Henry slash one. You're welcome. Fuck, it took me way longer than I needed to. Again. I will kill you again. Ah, Is that what you did? You better stop all that shit. It's all thanks to you. Okay, Ebony Mall, bro. I don't know why I thought she deleted all that fucking shit over to Maxine. Maximilian. Max! Hey, L, get the fuck up, cuz he. She's fighting him. You know what it's time for. Your left nostril's bleeding. It's time for the right nostril, both tear ducts, both ears. Fucking uh, hot duke in this shit. Stop, bro. I get that she's levitating. You don't. Dude, do you guys see what I'm seeing? I bet Jeanette McCurdy got a fuck ton to say about this show. Hey. God damn, you need a motherfucking manicure, pedicure, something, brother. <laughs> I just switched the lights up real quick. Is this a Martha moment? Yeah, Papa's dead, bro. We know that. He said, he said, <laughs> he said, fuck that got to do with me. And Papa did hurt me, but he was no monster. He was just a man. <laughs> An ordinary mediocre man i think that he had why he sought greatness in others i think vecna got a boogie in that left nostril like his left our Enemy. right he did not make me into this say so, yeah, it you did you did there it is he's not telling a lie on that part 11 you did you did put him there yeah, when you pressed your fucking ultimate ability, yep. Look at that shit, bro. That's a whole big ass. Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo. That's a big ass tornado dookie right there. That's good, because they thought that he was the Mind Flayer's general. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted was this. This makes the character so much better. So that reopened the door. Okay. You chose to resist. So that shit got so it got shut. So that shit got shut. That's a hell of a screen to pause on. It got shut when she put him through that the gate that she temporarily opened. Yada yada. Bing bam bop. Flashback to this. She touches that thing, opens up that gate so he can come in. She killed the Demogorgon the same way that she killed oh boy. Vecna slash Henry slash one. Okay. Ah, damn! Keep that motherfucking mouth closed, bro. Use your motherfucking back guardian strength. Here's what I have, right? Power of friendship. Are you guys ready for what I'm about to put down before it even happens? Hopper's laying there with that thing like Bob was. So here comes Joyce. Zip, zap, cattle prod. 
light that shit up, right? On the flip side, Luke is up there fighting Jason. Erica going to show up to save that situation. This dipshit is talking to, oh boy, I don't think Max is going to kip up, so that's probably out of the, the realm of possibilities. The only thing at the moment is there is nobody to help out fucking Nancy. Uh, well, actually, so with Nancy, Steve, and Robin, if we can cattle prod that dog right there, which I think is what Joyce is about to do, it is a hive mind. They're all affected by it. So I imagine that'll set off the trigger of events. These birds will freak out. Dustin can come in. They'll drop the three that's inside the house. Robin, Steve, and Nancy. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bam. Do that. Or to make me waste my breath for three minutes. They're going to bite you to this. Steve. Joyce, I need you to get that cattle prod. And stay that fucking thing. That's attacking Hopper. Trigger a chain of events. I'm afraid. Try and Steve. This man said, let me spit the billy bars right in your fucking face. That's hateful. That's rude. That's a hate crime. This is third time trying to kill Max. Either going to go through or it won't. Oh, my fuck. Oh, my fuck. Max is lifting. Remember, you are the heart. You're the heart. Keep talking to her. Come on, Mike. Come on. Tell her you love her. Say, I love you right now. Tell her you love her. Say it. Say it. I'm right. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. L, do you hear me? Come on, L. I love you. You're wearing that yellow Benny's Burgers t-shirt. Benny! So you whole. <laughs> is that motherfucker not killed Max yet? Like, what is happening in this whole fucking monologue? I, you need to fight. Is it a process or is it just like a... <laughs> My hand getting closer to your face, is it not? <laughs> You're going to die very soon, friend. But not that soon. <laughs> no, but seriously, you're going to die very soon. <laughs> Next time on Dragon Ball Z, like, bro, fucking get to either fucking kill her or don't. <laughs> There you go. There you go, Lucas. There you go. Whip his fucking bitch ass. He slapped it. Ah! Max. Max. Oh, her fucking arm. Ah! Wait for her jaw. The lights went out the last time. Ooh. Oh, sent that motherfucker flying back, huh? There's the cattle prod, baby. Light that motherfucker up just like they did Clark with that shot collar. I was going to say, man, Max can have a broken tibia, fibia, collarbone, whatever the fuck. As long as you don't break her jaw and pull her eyeballs out of the fuck in front of her face, I think she'll be okay. I can live with some snapped up limbs. That shit will heal. Thank you for saving me. I almost got my fucking ass saved by Doug Dimadome Dimadog. Oh my God, that motherfucker stood up. Run! He said, what y'all think it was gonna do? Hey, bro. Flame on! This motherfucker done picked up his gladiator sword. Hey, that sword looks cool as fuck, by the way. I just, I'm gonna go ahead and eat somebody on, on Twitter, whoever the fuck, to go ahead and turn that into a lightsaber one time for the one time. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Ooh, cut from father to daughter like that? That was nice. Hey, guys. Go up there. And set his fucking toes on fire. Y'all keep showing feet. Set his toes on fire. Some bold hot dogs right there. But this is only the beginning. There is a season five. The beginning of the end. Yeah, this is the beginning of the end. Season four and season five. I'm rocking with you. Y'all have to hurry up and go before, so you can put that thing there, bro. Hive mine. We're running up that hill. Here's my question, though. What if Steve lobs this and it just misses? Just misses. And I appreciate the Demogorgon, like, respecting combat, right? The laws of a fight. He, like, waited for this opponent to get ready. He didn't just... Woo! There goes your arm! Biz niche! Yoga! Fire! 
Flame on, pussy. Yeah, baby. You better hope he doesn't catch that shit when you throw it, Robin. Hey, hey Nancy kind of got some Sarah Connor vibes to her ass, bro. Yakum. Ooh. He decapitated that bitch. Now here's the thing though, bro. You see how his body landed outside. I've watched I've watched Halloween. I gotta go check on his body. Right slime? Gotta go check to see if his body's there. And the body's gone. Just like Halloween. The body's gone. Can we hear him breathing off breathing off camera? Is he immortal? Is he dead? What's the answers? That's fucked right there, son. What if they cut the What if they cut to him hobbling away? I think it's my year, Anderson. I think it's your year, brother. I think it's finally my year. I think it's your year to graduate, brother. I love you, man. No, oh, we love you too, brother. No. Oh, that brother gone. Oh, he dead, bro. He's dead. That's fucked. Oh, man, I was really hoping he'd be like, ah, I gotcha. Nope. No, he's gone. Jesus, fuck. As sad as that is, they did a really good job with keeping his blood in the same parts. I think they did that maybe in like one take, potentially. At least the same day, because all of his blood was in the same spot on his mouth. Oh, Lucas. Oh, the baby said. Oh, my fuck. He done made you a goddamn veggie tail. Look at her fucking shin bone all clicked and fucking. Uh oh, clicking. Clicking. Damn, he snapped both her ankles up. Four times. Max. Hey, bro, he did say they already lost. Ooh, there's only 30 minutes left in this. If they're doing what I thought of, ooh my god, hold on. That's so great. That could be so perfect. Yes! Fuck you, Jason, you piece of shit. Fuck you. That's why you're dead, idiot ass, hoe ass little boy. Hell yes. The four points have connected right there. Ripping and roaring throughout the fucking town. Bro, look at Max's arm. Why is it? That shit's bent all sideways. Hey, El, you gotta wake up. I know you're morning. I swear to God, if y'all make up some bullshit ass fucking Star Wars healing power all of a sudden. Episode 9. This is the ninth episode of this, too. <laughs> two days later? Fuck you mean two days later? There's some wild shit happening right now. That's what happens when you live in Indiana, bro. I think you should all just come together. Just everybody go to California. And then the fifth season, shit can happen in California. I think I got them same rainbow socks, bro, to be honest. Dustin's hair is wild. Go hug your best friends, you idiot. What a team photo. Oh. I've been calling you oh, dude, I just love them all together so much. Ah. Ah. Doctors don't know how. They say it's a miracle. Miracle, there's that word again. I keep telling you guys, we keep we keep passing that word around this whole time this whole time. Does she not remember what she did or something? Is she playing it off? Vicky should be here, right? Or did we just close that door? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did I just say? What are you doing here? I am with the peanut butter. I am making PB&Js. Oh my god, she rambles just like she does, and I love it. I love it. She's talking. He's the type of person who trashes fast times because it has no plot. I mean, as soon as he said that, I should have just ended things right there and then. Sorry. 
the boobies. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I would. I... That would be so funny if Robin's like, you, do you like boobies? <laughs> no. That's not my boyfriend. Would you be my girlfriend? I'd be your girlfriend. Let me be the jelly to your peanut butter. There you, there you go. Look, ah, oh, look at Steve. Yeah, I love it. Steve just looking on like, bro, look at her go. Oh, that's so good. That's so wholesome. Because you could, you could hear it in Robin's voice there for a second. She was starting to become more of herself and talking. Oh, love, love to see it. Love to see it. Why didn't you tell him sooner? <laughs> Oh, it's all pain. It's all pain. I'm glad that cot was available for whoever to come sit down right there in that moment. I could have played this old guy right here laying down, bro. That could have been me. I like to lay down. Mr. Munson, he's... He's a hero. <laughs> he's a goddamn hero. Nah, look, you think it's a car rolling up? Nah. Nah, this is good. This is good. I was gonna say the only people that the only people that knew that Hopper was alive the whole time too were with Hopper. So like, thank you. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh, that's so good. Why they got this motherfucker looking like an ex-marine that just came home from battle? What's up with that hat? <laughs> <laughs> Your hair, look at look at us. We look like father and daughter. There's the forehead smooch, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's so good. I kind of stole your look, kid. <laughs> it's bitching. It's bitching. Well, what do you think? Bitching, say it. Bitching. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Papa's home, but mama's home too, baby. Oh. There you go, boys. Hug it out. There's a good hug. Oh. oh, Will's got that feeling in the back of his neck, bro. The fucking theme song kicking in. It's something I thought about with Dustin, too, is I know he has, like, um, I don't know what it's called, the bone. Like, he does, he's born without collarbones, etc. I know he has bone issues. So I wonder if, like, that fall was to kind of help with this, to kind of explain that within the show premise of it. Maybe? Or maybe he's just fucking actually just fake limping this shit off. Hey man, those flowers are beautiful right there. There's the dead shit, bro. Reminiscent of the dead pumpkins. The dead flowers. I like that shot, bro. They had all the couples together. Did you see that? Had Jonathan and Nancy, Joyce and Hopper, Mike and Will. You love to see it. No tag, huh? No post? No post in the end? All right. Hey. That's some wild shit, bro. That's a wild ass finale. All right, let me just say that. That is that is a wild finale. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and read the thing first. And that is simply, with selfless hearts and a clash of metal, Heroes fight from every corner of the battlefield to save Hawkins and the world itself. And try as they may, try as they might. Man, I, I told you guys that it should have it should have been their Revenge uh, Empire Strikes Back episode, right? And it it pretty much was. I mean, they lost. People got together, right? People came back. The we the gang's all together now. They're in all in Hawkins, but they lost. Vecna slash Henry slash one said, hey, you've already lost. Like, I've already killed Max. Like, she just has to die now. I just didn't, you know, I, I normally do it quickly. Now she has to suffer. Max died long enough for that portal to open, which if the portal opened, you didn't have to leave Max alive. You, I, I personally believe we should have just had Max die. I'm just going to say it outright. I'm glad Jason's dead because fuck that kid. 
I, I just would have had I would have had Max die. That would have had it been very grotesque, very heart wrenching, and that would have been another motive to bring everybody together, especially everybody that was close to her. Dustin, Lucas, Max, Mike, not as much, but still, I'm sorry, not Max, but but eleven, um, and whatever. The reunions were done perfectly. Hopper and Joyce, Nancy and Steve, even uh, getting Dustin back with his friends, getting the friends back together. Everything was done so well, and then obviously the big one, which is eleven and and Hopper, Mama, our daughter and Papa was great and then going outside to Joyce was was done absolutely perfectly just so you guys know I started recording this at uh 12 15 a.m and it is now uh almost 3 15 a.m so I've been watching this for three hours it's like watching Endgame like I said I could watch that all day every day twice on Sunday this one I did get a couple chances to get up and get some water and come back and whatever reset but man that ending that's a great ending. I'm a big fan of heroes losing in endings, and I think it should happen more often because watching somebody win over and over gets very fucking boring, and that's why Infinity War is a perfect movie when it comes to Marvel. Uh, Marvel. <laughs> Marvel. Anyways, I, I don't know what else to say. Go, having to go back, Russia, having to go back into the prison was a good touch because you had to clear up those Demogorgons. You couldn't just leave them there. That would be, that'd be too big of a stinger for season five. I don't know where Yuri is. I don't know where Enzo is. Did they fly their helicopter all the way to the States? Is that what happened? Did they fly to another bordering country and then somebody come pick him up and bring him over? How did that work? Where are those two people? Did Eleven, after she did that stuff inside the brain, did she not tell Mike and them about what happened? Mike and Eleven seem kind of estranged at the moment, which is weird. Will still carrying a lot of burden on his shoulders. Not a lot of screen time this time around. Uh, Mike kind of redeemed himself in my eyes. He got kind of annoying there for a bit, but that that last little moment, being the heart of the party is really good. And one of the things, and I'm going to reiterate this and maybe go more in depth of it, but I think the season five finale should be the party. Everyone that we know and love all together fighting uh, a common enemy, fighting Vecna and fighting those forces instead of being spread out. They should all be fighting. Like D&D style, the party goes. And I think there should even be some tongue-in-cheek stuff. Like, as, right before the fight starts, somebody says some really corny shit. Mike's just like, hey, since he's the DM, roll for initiative. And they fight. That's just, that's just how it should be. And uh, I, I think, you know, they... I think Steve has grown up tremendously. He's He's been an amazing character, and... Him and Nancy's moment was really touching, but they built too much up with Nancy and Jonathan. And she says that they're good. He still hasn't told her about college, which sucks. Where was Argyle in that last scene? Where did he go? Did he just like, hey, man, I'm just going to go back in the house, dude. Oh, are you from like, are you really with the government? Because like, that's kind of rad. <laughs> yeah. Where the fuck did he go? But that tornado is in real time. That tornado is in Hawkins, Indiana. Like that is living right there at the moment. That's not in the upside down. Say what you want, but Vecna won, as you should have. And he landed, body all snapped up and shit, but he didn't, he's gone, like Michael Myers. He's out. Where did he go? He's wook, he's, he's wook. He's weak, he's wounded, that's the words I put together. And um, Will can sense him. Will knows that he's on the horizon. And I think Will will be our main person. I think people have to die in the finale. I think one of the kids, one of the main party members, probably Will, I have that feeling for some reason. Or Mike being the heart of the party. Um, something along those lines. I don't think Eleven should. I, I think that would be horrible. Lucas got way more screen time this season, which I really loved. I'm, I'm very fucking happy that Lucas got more screen time. And I, I, his arc was good about him wanting to be popular and then realizing that that wasn't the route to take. And him having a gun pointed at his head. And that could jack fucking little kid shot, bro. And, and they had to, he had to fight for his life. And the music kind of doomed the situation. And I thought the music was going to be a much bigger factor. That was just kind of a one-off thing to kind of help. I mean, they played it the whole season. But uh, they must have had a great license from Kate Bush. But they, they played it throughout the entire season. But still, 
I really thought that we were going to be like, hey, one had the song he listened to back in Hawkins, and we're going to play this, and like Eddie was going to... Uh, Master of Puppets is a really good song for that, I think. I think that was that was really well done. I think that whole last part was that was just great. And Eddie sacrificed himself. Like I kind of figured that was coming too because he talked the whole season of, I always turn heel and run. I run, I run, I run, I run. And he finally, he stood and he stand and he fought it. He fought it. He fought. And he died in the process. He sacrificed himself to keep things going, uh, to keep Dustin safe, really. So, but I, I hope the next season is all the kids together. And I actually really hope that the last shot of this entire show is all of the kids sitting together playing Dungeons and Dragons. I hope that it Mike's even showing Eleven how to play. I hope Max is there. Max has always been kind of against it. Like Max finally is playing, whether she's still blind or not by the end of it. I think they should all be together playing. I, I would just love that so much and have Hopper and Joyce together in a healthy relationship. No shit where they like blah, 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 break up or whatever. Also, where was Murray? They dropped Murray off too. Is he just gone? Anyways, but uh, I think I think Mike, Will, Dustin, Lucas, Erica, Eleven, Max, even Steve, Jonathan. I just think everybody should end at a giant table playing Dungeons and Dragons because that's exactly how the show started, and I think that's how we should end it. And I I feel like that would be fucking beautiful. And I think they should all come together and all fight together. I think Jonathan should be honest with Nancy about the college thing. They can talk that out, hash it out. I think Steve should find a love interest, no matter who it is. Robin and Vicky being together right there, I so fucking wholesome. So great. They both ramble. They both talk. I think that should brew into something. Uh, and I think Vecna's a really well-done bad guy. He's a very good antagonist. And I think the sky's the limit for that character in Season 5 because they showed him losing. I would have had him definitively win. If this was me writing the ending, he puts his claws into Max's head. Max dies. That's the end of it, right? Max is gone. Eleven kind of has her moment where she's like panicking. Mike still gets to her, wakes her up. She still puts him up against the thing, and he says, you've already lost. And in that moment, he's gone. And I would have Steve, Nancy, and Robin walk up to the attic to an empty room. Nobody there. No matter what power you give him, transportation, teleportation, whatever, He's gone. It's beautiful. They're standing there. They're ready to go. They got fire in hand. Nothing's there. When they have their meetup, it's just like, what happened? And Eleven's confused because maybe Eleven thinks that she killed him. Maybe he used that power, that turning to dust thing, as a form of transportation. So maybe even Eleven's doing that to him, right? And it looks like he's disappearing, and he says, I've already won. You've already lost. And he is going to be weakened, still in the same sense, because Eleven felt like she got a little bit of an upper hand, but I still would have had Vecna win, other than him being set on fire, falling out of fucking roof, and then disappearing. I would have went that route. Very easily would have went that route. And then they're confused about that, and then Will's like, I think he's still here. You could still do a lot of the same shit, but you could tweak it a little bit to make it a little bit spicier. But um, we saw we saw the painting. Every story arc that started was good. Angela, I guess she still has a broken nose. Hopefully that bitch died in the, in the, in the earthquake as well. But other than that, on that note, I'm going to head out. For the people watching on Patreon, this is a three-part episode. This is three parts broken up, 55 minutes apiece. This one's about to hit 56 minutes. I'm going to wrap out here for this part of YouTube as well. All 34 episodes of Stranger Things will be in the description box down below on Patreon if you guys want to check it out. It's over there if you want to watch the full uncut things. All 34 episodes are here. No blue screen on Patreon, by the way. Uh, I will say this. That's our last episode. We have to wait until late 2023 to watch season five. So the remainder of what we're going to do for the next week or so is watch some of the trailers and stuff for Stranger Things, get those out, and then I will have an official start date posted for Lucifer season one, episode one, which is our next show. We will watch Stranger Things when it comes out. We will have that up and have that ready to go. But for now, I appreciate the love and support. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Stranger Things unanimously won the vote for the poll. On to Lucifer. This is a great show. I cannot wait to see how it wraps up. I really can't. I think it's going to be absolutely phenomenally fire. And on that note, I'm 100% out this time. For me to Jerry, I love your face. We'll have links and everything in the description box down below. Playlist up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.